after you shot Dante Wright, you didn't behave like someone who had just saved Sergeant Johnson's life, did you? I was very distraught. I, I, I just shot somebody. I've never done that. Well, you never asked Sergeant Johnson if he was okay, right? I don't remember the conversations. You didn't check in on him at all, right? I don't know. Well, you saw the video when Sergeant Johnson fed you the line, that guy was trying to take off with me, you didn't bite, right? You didn't respond to that at all, did you? The video, I was crying, I was in shock. And he was trying to make you feel better, wasn't he? I, the objection is sustained. Well, he didn't remember saying it, right? You heard that testimony? Yes. And you don't remember him saying that, right? No. And you didn't say anything like, thank God I shot that guy and saved your life. You didn't say anything like that, right? The objection is overruled. You didn't say that, right? No. And you didn't ask Sergeant Johnson anything except to call Chuck, right? I don't remember what I asked him. That would be on the video, right? Yes. You'd agree that as a police officer, you have the duty to render aid and communicate information to other officers, right? Yes. And it's part of your job to assist those who are hurt or injured, true? Yes. And to communicate to other officers what you know about a particular scene, right? Yes. Give them whatever information you can to help them do their jobs, to help render assistance, things like that, right? Yes. But you didn't do any of those things on April 11th, did you? No. You stopped doing your job completely. You didn't communicate what happened over the radio, right? No. You didn't make sure any officers knew what you had just done, right? No. You didn't run down the street and try to save Dante Wright's life, did you? No. You didn't check on the other car that had been hit, did you? No. That all happened just down the road from you. Yes. You were focused on what you had done, because you had just killed somebody. Right? I'm sorry it happened. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ms. Potter, from your reaction today, and from your reaction on your video, you didn't plan to use deadly force that day, did you? No! You didn't want to use deadly force, did you? The, the objection is overruled. No! No! Because you knew that deadly force was unreasonable and unwarranted in those circumstances. I didn't want to hurt anybody. You didn't want to hurt anybody. You didn't want to hurt anybody. And that's why you said, I'm going to go to prison. I don't. All right. The objection is sustained. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.